All right, guys, what's going on? Will with Gutter Fighting Secrets. Mike, also with Gutter Fighting Secrets. We're out here, we're doing some good training today with the guys. Um, we're teaching them some close combat. So I wanna show you guys the Ranger Choke. Uh, Ranger Choke is a little bit different than other chokes because we're going for the esophagus. Let me make sure my microphone is on so I don't fuck myself. Yes, it is, thank gosh. So the Ranger Choke is a little bit um, different because it's more effective, it's really brutal. Now, we're attacking the airway. I will warn you right now, do not attack the airway if you're not intending on finishing the individual, and you know what I mean by that. Again, I'm not telling you to do anything. Don't fucking do anything and tell you I told you. No, I'm telling you not to do this right now. But if it was a freaking Taliban or whatever, you get my point, and you needed to take them out quick, the ranger choke is one viable way to do it. What we're doing is we're taking our thumb and our forefingers and we're placing them around the esophagus. Mike, face the camera. What I want to do is I want to take my thumb and forefingers and place them right around his esophagus. Now, what we were doing earlier was Mike was actually having a problem with this where he was taking his grip and making the C grip too small and it was slipping away. If the guy's sweaty, if he's bloody, this is going to slip off. What I want instead is a big C grip like this and then I want you to contract until you feel his windpipe. What you can do is feel on yourself and then you'll feel your windpipe. If you really start to squeeze, it's gonna hurt. You're gonna go, ow, and release it. You're not really gonna be able to do it to yourself that much just because the mechanics of your body won't let you choke yourself, right? Unless you're fucking weird, which you might be because you're watching this channel. But if you ever have a training partner and you wanna go real light and have them do it to you and just tap as soon as you feel like it's too much, please, as soon as you feel like it's too much, tap, um, because this could cause serious damage to your windpipe. But the ranger choke is literally just taking a C grip, choking him like this, but you're going around the esophagus and the windpipe, and you're like clamping fucking down and crushing it. It works really well when combined with a takedown, which we will show you on another video. But for now, check this out, drill this on your partners, or even if you don't have a partner, drill it in the air, drill it on yourself. But I want you to think about combining it with not just choking him here, but also a strike. All right, so whenever we apply this, we're not simply coming here and choking him, we're literally coming and striking into the windpipe and applying the choke at the same time. We're then squeezing as hard as we possibly can and pushing back down in onto his neck. In full force, as full force as I can do without hurting him, we're gonna do this right now and show you what it looks like. Ready? So, boom, we strike in. Boom, we squeeze and we push back. And I, I didn't even wait for him to tap because it's that, it really is that serious. I don't want you guys injuring each other, so be very careful with this. Whenever you feel like you're going full force, back off, go 70%. When it is needed in the streets, you'll have it. No sense in hurting each other during training. All right, guys, until next time, please remember that you were your first and last line of defense. In the next video, we're going to show you how to combine this with some really solid grappling skills and then some really solid takedown stuff as well. Cheers. Bye.